It was April 19th of 1951 when five-star general of the army, Douglas MacArthur, had finished his talk to Congress. He turned to the Congress and he said, old soldiers never die. They just fade away. Well, I take exception with the general. I'm an old soldier. I'm 96 years old. I'm going to die, but I'm not going to fade away. There's a few things that we must, we must clarify. Number one, yes. The cloud rose over Nagasaki as the atomic bomb dropped. I remember that. I was there on December 7th, just a few hours after the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. They came to the Philippines and they destroyed Clark Field and everything we had aboard. Every aircraft was gone. Yes, I remember that. I was there. And then we were told that the Japanese were landing at Lungayan. 35,000 troops of the Japanese, and we needed some tanks up there to help our soldiers leave. And so they called for some tanks. Yes, I remember that. I was there. My tank was one of the ones that came back. Five tanks went into battle, three came home. Yes, I remember that. And then the fighting, and then the unfortunate surrender. When General King said, I can no longer allow my men to suffer this way. We have no food, no ammunition. Medical supplies are at a minimum, and we know there are no supplies coming. Therefore, I order all the soldiers on Bataan to surrender to the Japanese. And this is done in spite of having a direct order from General MacArthur, who said on the day, the eighth day, day before the march, he said to General King and General Wainwright, this garrison will not capitulate. If all else fails, you will charge the enemy. General King could not do that. He knew that he was in violation of a military code. He knew that he could be court-martialed, but he had to try to save some of the men's lives. I remember that. I was there. Yes, I was on the ship that was taken to Japan. I was on the Bataan Death March, where we kicked the bodies. The Americans were killed one after the other for simple things like having to defecate. Just couldn't move in another inch. Just couldn't take another step and they were killed. Yes, I remember that. I was there. And then the trip to Japan where I was placed in a coal mine and I shoveled coal 12 hours a day every day for three years. Yes, I know what it's like to be over there. But now, now, today, it's up to us, the living, to protect the freedom that we fought so hard for. And yes, it's up to us also to make sure that those men who died in all the wars we've had did not die in vain. And so, I'm able to say, God bless America, land of the free, and home of the brave. Thank you. Thank you.